And so I went to Exim Bank at around 3.30 a.m. to withdraw money and my ATM was swallowed. After it was swallowed, I put the other card and it was swallowed too. The whole journey, I didn't have money and I had to watch everyone else eating. I had left very few coins which I bought juice and I had a running stomach. Hello guys, welcome to my new uh, YouTube video. My name is Jay, I'm from Kenya. I'm sharing the good, the bad and the ugly. I was in the restaurant but now I'm in Kampala in Uganda which is the capital city of Uganda and Uganda is a landlocked, landlocked country and so I came here to visit this place and show you around so if you're new here kindly subscribe like this video because it's going to help me create more videos like this and show you other places that maybe you have not visited or you visited a long time ago and you want to see how they have changed so this is a story about what really happened so I decided to go to Kampara by bus I didn't know like it was supposed to go to Nairobi so they told me to pay 130 Tanzanian shillings but as I shared the real amount of fare the amount of money that was you was supposed to be fair was 120 so they later explained to me that it was someone who was selling it at a profit of 10,000 shillings Tanzanian shillings so that's okay I agreed to that because like there was no option and there was just there was just one seat remaining. And so the following morning I woke up very early because we were supposed to check at three no at four. At three forty I went to Exim Bank. There was an ATM machine there, so I wanted to withdraw money which I can be using as cash at hand. But then when I went to withdraw my card was swallowed. And therefore, I said, okay, if it was solid and I still need some money, let me use the next card. It was solid as well. And I was, I was left with no money apart from 1,800 Tanzanian shillings, which is not good enough to get lots of things because the country has a, a lot of inflation. So I decided to continue with my journey because there was no way I was supposed to wait there because the bus was supposed to start the journey at 4 a.m. And there was no coming back. And so I said, I took the risk of just continuing my journey, even though I was not knowing where we were going. So apparently later I realized that we were going towards Nairobi first, which was quite a relief because I felt like if I go to Nairobi, I'll be able to use M-Pesa well, and I'll be able to use my equity account, mobile app account, or maybe I can also withdraw. So that's, that's, that is what, I, it was on, uh, on Thursday, so, that no on Friday so there was no day remaining in between it was because it was during or it was almost during the weekend and therefore it was really a bad time for me to get to lose my car so long story short we I jumped on the bus and it came to a time when I felt like everyone was supposed to go get some food even if I had 1800 there was this Tanzanian girl who offered to buy for me nuts which I would eat but later that was not good enough to be lunch so I went out bought juice one for me and one for her and then it happened she told me like she can't take juices because she's afraid like she might have like, like running stomach which I objected and then ah, no, I, I am not used to having like a running stomach and so she warned me again then I said ah, that's not a problem so I, I drank one, no, 40 minutes later, I started having severe stomach ache, right? So the stomach ache went on for a while until I had to stop the vehicle two times for me, not for anyone else, for me. But the driver was so good, he stopped until like I, felt, I, got, I felt well after some time. Didn't take any drugs because I didn't have money. And I remember asking some Kenyan girls around, so if they would lend me some money to buy the medicines but they refused and i was supposed to pay them back using mpesa but they intentionally refused which was okay everyone is entitled to whatever they want to do with their own life and for me i was not upset because of that because it was their, their decision and it was their money so long story short we would later arrive in nairobi 
where I was able to get some money. And then later, we, we, when we arrived, the bus had left for Kampala. And that meant we either wait for the next bus, which was 4 p.m. the next day, or 8 p.m. the next day. The 4 p.m. was already full, and so 8 p.m. was the next option. Or they get us a shuttle, Nissan, which we call, normally call Matatu, which we agreed we were eight. Then that Matatu took hours. So from Nairobi to here, we took, we started the journey, because of disagreements they were having at the office, we started the journey at around 3 a.m. and we, we've reached here at around 8.30, 8.30 to close to 9 p.m. So that was the whole journey of traveling. So from Dar es Salaam to Nairobi and then here was close to like two consecutive days and it was really tiresome. So until now, I don't have a bank card. I lost it. I asked these guys whether they can send it back to me in Nairobi, but then no, in here, but then they said no. Oh, and so that's not a problem. I'm here now in Kampara and I'm continuing living my life because I was able to do some money to pay the accommodation, which I'm in right now. And hopefully, I'll be able to maneuver other days. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to tell you my sad story which I had to go through, but now I'm okay. Yeah, so I will see you tomorrow, guys. If you're new here, kindly subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye-bye.